Good day people, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host, Shaheen. We are going to discuss a lot of things in today's video. We are going to, we are, we are going to discuss gold, silver, euro, Canadian dollar, British pound, we look at Ripple, Ethereum, uh, GDX, and dollar index as well. So, a word of advice: If you're following my, if you're following my analysis, I request you to please go through the analysis in a whole, not just jump to the one section and another section. Because if you do so, there is a very high chances of you missing an important analysis. In my uh, previous analysis in gold, I did clearly mention that there is a possibility, a rare possibility, I believe my words were, that we could have seen prices going upward and we have seen so. As far as the analysis of gold is concerned, the analysis of the gold has not changed. On July 23rd, I made a forecast that we are going to see a bottom forming around August 12th. And an important bottom, Does not, it's going to be a major bottom, we are not sure right now. But we're going to see a bottom around 1590, I said, and that's what we are. I'm, I'm still looking at it. It looks like that we're going to see a bottom forming around 1590 on August 12 on in the prices of gold. As far as the price behavior is concerned, still, although we didn't go beyond 1835, I'm still considering this as a correction. All right, correction where the impulse wave did not come to start right from here. So I'm considering this price movement as W, this as X, and this as Y. So if you have been trading for a market for a while right now, we can already see this behavior, uh, and uh, we have already completed a double top. So we are heading down from Monday onward. We have already completed a sharp move off. So I'm still bearish on gold as far as analysis is concerned in the price of gold. Now there is an important uh, analysis I'm bringing on Joro. So if you're following that, please have a look at it when I arrive there. Let's have a look at silver. We have uh, been given a nice opportunity by silver to short. Silver jumped up quite nicely. I'm still bearish on silver. And uh, I believe that the prices are going to go further down. The stop loss or the the miscalculation or the incorrect uh, uh, labeling should come if the prices go beyond 26.76. If prices for go beyond 26.76, that means that we need to reassess our uh, our price mm, forecast in, uh, in in the price of silver. So I'm still bearish in silver. I'm expecting the price is going to go further down towards 20, 21.80 and even further down towards in this region 17.15 later. So first target is going to be 21.80. Let's have a look at Euro. So while we're talking at it, I want to include, if you look at my charts, they are not fully labeled, they are not in detail labeled as far as Elliott Wave Analysis is concerned. It's not that I cannot label them or do not want to spend labeling them. The only reason then and the only reason for me to do is that I want your business time and again. I don't want you to just look at one video and go away and not come back for a couple, couple of months. This is another thing is that anybody who have just some knowledge of Elliott Wave Analysis given uh, some labeling can actually forecast himself, right? So I don't want to, in simple world, I don't want that happen. That's why you'll see most of my charts happening. I will do use Elliott Wave Analysis and some other analysis techniques, but my, ta my charts are not correctly, uh, I mean, in detail label. That's the reason. Uh, as far as Joro is concerned, in my previous video, I stated that probably U.S. dollar has broken the uh, correlation between gold. Uh, I have backed up from that. I did some more analysis, and I believe that I was wrong in that analysis. And I believe that we are going to see Joro, Joro falling down along with gold as well. So I'm bearish on Joro as well. I'm expecting that the prices will come down in Joro. An important if you are actually uh, trading euro, an important area for uh, stop loss should be 1.19. So that's an important area. So I'm bearish on euro. As far as uh, Canadian dollar is concerned, I'm uh, this is upside down chart of Canadian dollar. So I'm uh, bullish on this chart on Canadian dollar. So I'm uh, bullish. There is uh, some complexity here. And there's a quite possibility that we might see some lots of zigzag in this area. So you might want to be really 
careful especially in Canadian dollar is concerned so you can say that my analysis on Canadian dollar is neutral let's have a look at British pound once again you can see me that I'm bearish on uh, and British pound I've changed my analysis on this and uh, I'll probably give you guys indication later on but I'm I stay bearish on I'm looking for bearish setups we have already seen uh, some price movement a strong price movement bearish we have already seen double top as well and we have the prices have backed up so it gives us a very very good trading opportunity so I believe that we are can actually create a good trade by going short on British pound and going short on euro as well so if prices go beyond that area if prices can go beyond that area in that territory and stay in there that means our analysis for British pound is wrong let's have a look at uh, ripple now there is a price uh, ripple has the personality where it can move uh, slowly as compared to uh, Brit Bitcoin so there is a still a possibility that we might actually see prices of ripple going upward as long as the important support is concerned we have major support occurring right over here so as far as this as soon as this support gets broken we're looking toward bearish price movement so right now I let if I was actually trading ripple I would actually take benefit and I would look up for bearish setups in ripple so the trend is not looking healthy as far as bullish is concerned the trend is more towards bearish price movement when it was trading right over here we were able to indicate that the prices are gonna go up so if you took benefit then it's good but right now I'm looking for bearish setups in uh, cryptocurrency as a whole and ripple as well uh, if you are considered an Elliott wave analysis there is a possibility we have completed W X and Y all the way over or there's a possibility that we have completed a 5 f structure stop from that top to right over here and the correction will complete over here an important thing is we have actually gone beyond that top and the price is feeling comfortably sitting comfortably on the top of the head so it's a very different uh, it's a very dangerous uh, thing for happen uh, in terms of uh, price movement bearish price movement that's why I said there is the possibility still that for ripple because normally it's a slow mover as compared to Bitcoin that it might catch up for the strength that we saw in Bitcoin recently let's have a look at uh, Bitcoin now Bitcoin is showing interesting behavior I uh, one of actually I was saying that there is a possibility that we have uh, we might see a top right over here and actually we can see that the prices went up and found a top on top of it so we are seeing that right now prices are finding some resistance uh, I was also expecting the prices to move back off the area but that did not happen we were we were able to forecast this price strength uh, but still this top but they have gone beyond our target not a bad thing but right now I'm looking for bearish setup in Bitcoin uh, the thing is we are seeing tops right over here and we are finding we are seeing a double top forming with this top and a triple top with this one and we are also seeing support coming on this support line as well so as soon as prices will start falling behind uh, below that will be a bearish setup we can also see that the prices is in a very important area right now if prices can actually go successfully beyond that area and stay come back and retest that area that will be giving an indication that we have to relook uh, rethink of about our anal analysis and labeling of cryptocurrency once again if you're following my analysis I have seen a lot of uh, comments and saying that I don't I have you know I'm not legible or something I do my complete research I do not come unprepared the only reason you would see is that uh, my charts are not further detailed because there I want I don't want people to copy my content simple as that I hope that I'm clear with that let's have a look at uh, so a dollar index is uh, is a big one uh, in my one of my previous video I, I stated that there is a possibility that the um, correlation between dollar index and gold is probably broken for now and I'm expecting both of them to go down I'm I'm backing off from that analysis I'm considering that that correlation still exists in dollar index and uh, gold gold is going to go bearish and we are going to see bullish price potential in dollar index I'm expecting that in next few weeks 
we are going to see good strong price movement in dollar index so that will be very interesting to see that the dollar index will be moving up gold will be moving down so if you are actually trading uh, dollar index in that GDX very interesting behavior I was expecting that we have completed a correction right over here we have formed a bottom and we're gonna further down instead I got corrected we have seen I'm considering this as wave A right now wave B right now and wave C so a completion of a flat correction I am bearish on GDX if you are interested in gold miners I'm actually bearish clearly bearish on um, a dollar I'm dollar <laughs> I'm uh, not dollar index actually gold miners index called the GTX so as far as the price potential is concerned where the target is uh, interesting question we have I found some little bit different behavior in uh, in GDX that does not mean that uh, let's have a look so one of yours actually forecast uh, uh, told me about this trend line is very good cash and we can see that the price went up and actually retested that area and then we've seen huge price movement so that we've already seen a huge price movement coming off that support I do believe that the prices are still gonna fall what happens after that I don't want to discuss right now but for in the near couple of two to three weeks I'm still bearish on uh, GDX and nothing has changed as compared to that uh, for potential the initial target for GDX is somewhere going to be initial in the middle of this one we might see a price uh, behavior that where GDX might found a bottom somewhere around 26 so for, for a target is concerned I'm looking for GDX to fall right below somewhere in the middle of you can actually look at the top and bottom and you can draw a middle that's our target for GDX somewhere around 2850 or if it's really strong bearish trend we might hit 26 dollar Wish you good, good luck with your trading. Have a good one and bye-bye.